Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a you and the other person spread. Okay, this is just going to be for you and the other person. This is for Taurus. This is going to be for the first week of August. It's for Taurus, the first week of August for you and the other person. Now, this could be anybody in your life. You figure it out who it is, and you choose which side is yours. I tend to say this side is yours, but you decide. What do we have for Taurus and the other person? The overall energy is the Three of Cups. I'll get all three of these since I did that. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. And the Three of Cups. So this is letting something go. It is the Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is unrealistic. Third party. Um, Seven of Wands reversed. That is, that is giving up. Letting it happen. Giving up. Giving up something. So somebody may be giving up a third party. Whether it's you or the other person. Let's see. Um, well, maybe we're just going to go like this. I don't know. Who know? We just got to go with whatever happens. I mean, now we got challenge here. Speaking up. Communication is a challenge. Commitment. Commit four of wands. So we have a... Uh, somebody they may be afraid of commitment um, this is getting together having fun um, you know uh, celebrating there could be a third party so there could somebody's not speaking up they're not telling the truth there could be a split or a separation that is coming there's a commitment here that is probably being let go with the Ace of Pentacles between you and this person, the Ace of Pentacles reverse, this isn't solid, it's not stable, it's not realistic, there's insecurity, there's an insecure commitment here, somebody is insecure, they're in an insecure commitment, they're, Three of Cups is some sort of third party. Uh, Seven of Wands is, is uh, fall from power, fall from grace. In reverse, it's it's stepping down. And this is going down. So in this, uh, this Four of Wands is about... Well, I would say that it is reversed. You know, it's a challenge. The commit, there's, there, we have a commitment here that is rocky. Okay, there's... Uh, Probably a third party with that Three of Cups. Mm. Queen of Cups. Five of Pentacles reversed. And the Tower reversed. Let's go over here. Ooh. Queen of Swords or Princess of Swords. Ten of Cups. So, somebody is watching. There's some sort of, uh, you know, see the telescope. There's spying going on. Five of uh, wands reverse. There's some competition. I feel like you're dealing with some competition, Taurus. Whoever you are dealing with has some sort of competition. They're watching competition. There's somebody else. There's somebody else. Whoever you're dealing with is looking at somebody else. That's my take on it. They're, they're, they're spying on another relationship. They're wanting another relationship. They're going back and forth. This is a player. They're playing games. You're dealing with somebody that is playing games with you. I feel like you probably have a really big heart. You're looking for love. Um, this is definitely um, a disaster. You're feeling uh, uncomfortable, okay? I feel like you're feeling uh, broken. You may be feeling like this is a, definitely very stormy weather. You're feeling um, like you're being hit or you're feeling... Uh, it's when it rains, it pours. You take a look at this, it's pouring. I think that you're, you're, you're feeling uh, broken down. Somebody is, is breaking breaking your heart I feel like you're heartbroken Taurus I feel like you're you're feeling a lot of uh you may be trying to get out of this maybe you're in some sort of false sense of security or you got yourself involved in some sort of uh 
predicament that was unstable. Maybe you, you know, opened your heart to somebody that uh, wasn't being real with you or wasn't really looking for a commitment. Um, this is definitely a reality check. I think that you are getting a reality check. I think that you are going to be dealing with some sort of uh, painful change right here. This is total ruin. It is total ruin. With the Five of Pentacles reversed and the Tower reversed, I feel like this is heartbreak. I feel like you're going to be heartbroken with some sort of news that is coming. You may be, you may be, it is, it is. There's some sort of news that is coming probably about a third party or you may catch somebody uh, watching a third party or uh, with a third party. You may even... You know, something's going to happen here this first week of August. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth, and I feel like the truth is going to come out. Maybe the third party reveals the truth because they're not happy. They're not happy. Maybe they find out something. They're doing some sort of investigation of their own, and they they come forth and they speak up. They could even show up at your home. Somebody could show up at your home. Or whoever you're dealing with travels to their home or whatever the case is. Um, I feel like uh, there's definitely going to be some upheaval this week with the Tower Reverse. This is a permanent loss. This is a major uh, disruption and it is total ruin. And I think that you maybe you're feeling it because the Queen of Cups is very feeling. Okay, I think that you're, you're there's this is heartache. It really is. It's heartache. I think this is going to be extremely difficult information that you're going to really receive. This is like when it rains, it pours. It pours. So I think that, um, I mean, the Five of Pentacles reversed is total ruin and the Tower reversed is total ruin. So this is... This is total, totally ruined. It's totally ruined. So this is, this is a shock. Okay? It's a shocking situation. I think that you... You need to you need to be prepared for some shocking uh, news or information from somebody. Um, whoever you're dealing with is is um, playing. They're going back and forth with another person. They may be in a complete relationship with another person, and and you get and it gets revealed to you, um, and it causes somebody to step down and just. I don't want this anymore. I don't want this. This is not the this is not the happily ever after that I thought it was, you know. So I think there's going to be some sort of rude awakening that I think it I mean it could be coming their way or it could be coming your way. There's definitely some observation going on that reveals some sort of truth about you know, a third party that causes a rude awakening. And this is, could be a real rude awakening for you or a rude awakening for them. But there is definitely a rude awakening here. This is definite total ruin. Okay, you could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, does look like it is a water sign. Um, could be an air sign as well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But... Um, I feel like you may need your friends. Maybe you need to let your friends help you. I think that you have, uh, it's time to let go. It's time to stop playing. It's time to stop playing with whoever it is that you've been playing with because uh, there's another person. There's a third party here. And I think somebody's been in some sort of uh, not wanting to believe, not wanting to believe it. But this is, this is, a fact okay this challenge is the truth accepting the truth seeing the truth that you know this doesn't lead to long-term commitment seeing the truth that this doesn't lead to third to long-term commitment because there's a third party there's somebody else so that's what's going to happen this week there's going to be some sort of information that comes through that shocks you about a person that uh helps you it helps you to uh let go. I do see letting go with the Seven of Wands reversed, the Five of Wands reversed, and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is totally, totally, totally ruined. Whatever it is that that was false is going to be revealed. Um, the, it could be the other person realizing if you are the uh, this one over here, 
There could be, you know, somebody that is holding on to you that is realizing that this is never going to be rebuilt, that this is never going to be stable. You know, maybe they they realize that they need to stop waiting and they need to stop waiting and they need to rebuild someplace else. There is going to be a rebuilding that is going to happen in the future because things are about to crumble and they're about to crumble fast or, or they've already crumbled really fast. Um, this is self-love. The Queen of Cups is about self-love. So somebody is going to, uh, you know, act out of self-love and let go of a false sense of security because it's like they don't have a choice because there's going to be a major disruption that uh, hurts. Okay. This hurts. Okay. This is like, you know, you know, when the rain comes down really, really, really hard and it hurts you, that kind of thing, this hurts, it hurts. So there's going to be some sort of, uh, breakdown. Okay. It's going to come down fast too. This is, this is coming down fast. Um, now this may have something to do with a business. Somebody's business may, may be falling apart. It could be falling apart very, very fast. It's a shock. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. This is absolutely unbelievable. There is definitely a loss of security here, and it could be financial security. There's going to be a message that is delivered that um, from an individual that has been spying. This could be a spy or a or a um, informant or something like that that has been watching the home or I don't know. Now this this page this page of swords it says Princess of Swords, but it's the Page of Swords has some sort of information. There's some sort of investigation going on. We have a player here that is being investigated. This person has been playing games. Ten of Cups has to do with a relationship. There's, they got, but they're playing games. They're going back and forth between two relationships. Somebody's going back and forth. The sun. The sun is about happiness. Extreme happiness. Somebody is letting go. And this is of a relationship because they want to be happy. Now this has to do with um, enlightenment. Somebody is becoming enlightened. But the five of wands reversed is, is the end of conflict. This is freedom. Freedom. And this is the end of a relationship because they want to be happy. Somebody is letting go of a relationship. Because they want to be happy. So something is going on this week. And this has to do with healing and self-love. But I think it's, 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 uh, done playing, done playing games, enlightened. Somebody has been enlightened as to, uh, 
what kind of relationship they want. And there's going to be some sort of news to whoever you're dealing with, whether it's you, this is happiness. This is extremely happy. This is somebody that is watching. Somebody is watching. This is growth. This is an admirer. So this person over here has an admirer. There's definitely a third party here. I know that there is. Somebody is in a happy relationship with somebody else and I feel like they've been hiding it. It's like they're saying they're happy, but it's like they're saying they're not happy, but they are happy. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. There's dishonesty over the third party. Somebody is watching another person's growth, or watching another person's happiness. They're watching another person let go, which is interesting. This person over here is extremely happy. This person over here is experiencing major disruption because of this person's happiness. This person has another admirer, which is probably the third party. This person is distraught. This is no communication, lack of communication, letting go. Of the third party, letting go. So I think there's going to be somebody that is dropping out. The seven of wands reverses underneath. Somebody is dropping out of the game. And it makes this person very, very happy. This person's already happy anyway. So whoever you're dealing with, um, it depends on what side you are on. We have, like I already said, we have one person over here that is experiencing, you know, a breakdown of some sort, a major disruption within themselves at a complete loss, you know, but, and it's feeling it very, very feeling, you know, how they are trying, there's probably a lot of tears, but this person is trying to master their emotions. Maybe they're holding in their tears. So this person is definitely trying to master their emotions, but they are be feeling extremely, uh, ruined. This is completely ruined. Over here, this person is um, happy and probably looking for another relationship. Has completely let go of this one. But the Seven of Wands reverse is a setback, and that's underneath here. There is going to be a setback. There's somebody that is stepping down and letting go of something that isn't solid. Completely letting it go. It's messy. It's been messy. This is a mess. It is because this is, I'd say this is reversed. It's a mess. It's a messy situation. There's been a lot of lies. Somebody wasn't telling the truth about whoever it is that they've been watching. So 
So anyway, I feel like the first week of August, there's going to be... Uh, some sort of information that comes out that has to do with a previous commitment. Good luck. 